This is the front courtyard at the Raps Cat Sanctuary. Um, these cats are mostly non-adoptable um, and lots of them are feral or ferals that have tamed up. They're all here for different medical reasons um, or behavioral problems, but this is where they get to live their lives and be themselves. This is one of two courtyards that we have with huts around the sides and lots of boxes and hidey places for them to be. This is Kilo. We're in the um, feline leukemia area. We keep them separate because feline leukemia is quite contagious to other cats. It is a virus um, that can mature and metastasize into different illnesses. Um, so we do need to keep them separate from everybody else. But they all get along fairly well. They've got a nice big outdoor area and they can go inside as well. And there's Daphne's little gray fluffy one at the end. She's a little kitten, and so was Kilo when we saw first. Oh, they get to hang out and play in here, and then some of the quieter ones, like the up top spaces, we do have some barrels um, with feline leukemia. <laughs> and that's Bear. He always has a lot to say. This is the only area that we have um, cats with feline leukemia, and we have two areas for cats with um, FIV. This is the first of one of our two FIV areas. Um, again, we do keep them separate. Here we have Frank and Jack and Jim in the back. Nice outdoor area, one of my favorite spots in the sanctuary. And we keep them separate because it is possible to spread FIV through deep bite wounds. Um, so we just want to make sure that everybody stays separate and stays healthy. They have these nice little huts that they can go into and stay warm in the winter. Let's see if we can see. Oh, and here's Miss Tia. Hi, pretty girl. This is the area called the single wide because it is a single wide trailer. Um, this is where we put a lot of our cats that are used to being indoors so that they can continue to have a nice safe and cozy life inside. Oop. There's Mr. Pink. Hi, Mr. Pink. Look at that. They have a nice deck so they get lots of fresh air and sunshine. Heat lamps for when it's colder. Nice cushy chairs. Who's here? We've got Belinda and Bantam. Oh, there goes Kiefer. Um, this is a favorite spot for lots of volunteers and staff to come have a quiet moment with all the nice cushy chairs. There's Maya. And they all get fresh food and water twice a day. Hey, Tang. We're going to go through to one of the areas where we can have cats in these nice large cages if they are new, like Shinto, um, or if they've had a vet procedure recently, like Jackie. Um, they can have um, restricted, restricted food or water if necessary for vet procedures. Here we're going through. Hi, Buzz. And Miss Kitty. So this is actually the office of our manager, Lisa. Um, and we have some cats in here who, again, we've got another cage and just like a quiet spot for cats. We used to have our grumpy old ladies in here. Um, and now we have Mr. Tinker. Tinker who um, came all the way 
across the ocean to see us. And unfortunately, he was hit by a car as a kitten and doesn't have use of his back end, so he needs help to go to the bathroom four times a day. And we're perfectly set up here to help him out with that. So there's always folks around, and we have teams of volunteers and medical staff who are trained on helping him out. Hey, Tank. No, I'm not recording right now. <laughs> Here we are going up the steps to the single wide trailer. It's a nice area with a cushy chair and a heat lamp for some of our ferals. This is the door to the main area of the trailer. And here we go through to what we call the newcomers. When we were a smaller operation, this is where all the new cats would get used to their environment. There's Albie, he just had a dental. And there we go through, that's the deck to the single where we just were. And this goes through to the back courtyard. There's Wiley. And into the back pens. Hey Whiskers. And that's Alexandra, little Ariel. Lots of nice hidey spots for our ferals and nice open areas for sunbathing. Here we go up the stairs to the double wide trailer, which is the largest trailer that we have on site here. Um, it has laundry facilities. The other one is over on the single wide side and lots of nice shelves for our cats to have naps, hang out. Again, lots of cages, nice big cages for new arrivals or vet treatments as necessary. Nice big couch. Hey, Delilah. There's Horatio. He's usually quite chatty, quiet today. Yeah, and then they have this nice deck that they can hang out on as well. We've got more of our feral boys out here. They love to sleep on this mattress underneath the heat lamp. Hi, Bodie. <laughs> Caught him at a bad moment. Chairs that they can sleep under or on. Yeah. Hi, Guthrie. Guthrie's still pretty shy. All the other guys are starting to get used to folks and like to receive pats. Hey, oh, who's back there? Hamlet. This is uh, what we call the tea room. So it's a nice break area for staff and volunteers and also a very popular spot for napping kittens. Oh, here's Ollie. That's Lincoln up there. Um, coffee machine, which is very important. And there's Hannah. Hey, Han. Oh, sleepy. Let's go outside, Han. Here we are in one of the back pens where lots of our our feral cats like to live because it's quiet off sort of the main traffic of comings and goings. This is Miss Willow. Oh, thank you, Willow. We have eight pens in total and some lovely back gardens. Here's Barbara. 
Barbara is a, a favorite of many of our staff and volunteers. She's easily the smallest cat that we have here. Here we are in the back pens. Our gardener is hard at work today, cleaning up everything and making it lovely for people and cats alike. This one's an area where we have mostly ferals. Hi, kitten. And you can see through to more of them. Is that Cadbury? Pretty handsome. So we always try and keep lots of nice bushes in the back for them to hide in. Um, lots of nice space so that they don't feel too put upon by humans. Lots of hidey spots in the back. And we'll just go through the rest of the pens to see our friends in one of the, the second um, FIV area. There's all sorts of secret passageways and things around here so we can get to where we're going faster. I think there's Joby up there. Lots of our um, passageways are double gated and that's just in case somebody gets through that they don't get through all the way into the following area, which is important for the FIV and leukemia um, pens. So here we have our second FIV area. Hey Malcolm. We have more ferals in this area. It's a little quieter and further off the higher traffic zones. There's lots of spots up top for them to hide. in here. Oh, everyone's sleeping. There's Shadow and Dango. Amaretto up top. She's such a little sweetie. Oh, and these boys being so nice. We've got Boomer and Floyd. Oh, sorry, Floyd. And there's Zimmer. He's one of our sweet old sweet old boys. You can see in his ears that he was quite a scrapper in his time. That's often how FIV is uh, transmitted, is through um, deep bite wounds. So it's a lot of males um, and often unneutered males who contract it. Malcolm, hey handsome. FIV is a virus, again, but with good immune support, um, they can live um, long, normal lives, um, as opposed to the feline leukemia, which is a little bit scarier. Hi, Angus. And here we'll come through to the Moor trailer named for one of our longtime um, volunteers and an incredibly important person to the Raps Cat Sanctuary, Marianne Moore. Um, this is where we have a lot of our older cats. We lovingly call it the Jerry Catrix. It's really lovely and peaceful in here. Hey, Rufus. Yum. Yeah. Hey, Shaggy. Lots of ramps so that they can get up onto the couch easier. Nice, quiet area. Hey, bangles. Again, nice big cages in case anybody needs treatment or for new cats that come in. Low bedding for ones with arthritis. And then this lovely porch that is, again, very popular with the cats, volunteers, and staff. Here's Joey. He's blind, <laughs> but he gets around so well. Hi, Earl. And the Chanel. So peaceful here. Hi, baby. Baby has something to say. So 
so that's our little tour of the Raps Cat Sanctuary. I hope you enjoyed it and we look forward to being able to welcome visitors back once it's safe to do so and you can all come and visit our friends in person. Thank you so much.